वाइस प्रेसिडेंट जगदीप धनकर लास्ट वीक क्रिटिसाइज द 1970 केशवानंदा भारती जजमेंट व्हिच गेव वे टू द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सेइंग इट इज अ बैड प्रेसिडेंट He said that if any authority questions parliament's power to amend the constitution it would be difficult to say that India is a democratic nation. Dhankar added that parliamentary sovereignty and autonomy are important for the survival of democracy and cannot be permitted to be compromised by neither executive nor judiciary. He also highlighted the court's decision to quash the National Judicial Appointments Commission Act for judicial appointments. The basic structure of the constitution is a set of features which cannot be changed or altered even by parliament's amendments. They represent the core values of the constitution. The doctrine has evolved over the years but most came into being in the 1973 judgment of Keshavananda Bharti case. Since India's independence, the Apex Court has time and again revised its stance on the parliament's power to amend the constitution. In the 1951 Shankari Prasad case it said that the parliament had absolute power to amend the constitution it reiterated its stance in the 1965 Sajjan Singh case the parliament was given the power to amend any part of the constitution including the fundamental rights however in the 1967 Golaknath case the supreme court ruled that parliament cannot amend fundamental rights finally in 1973 The Keshavananda Bharti case said that the parliament can introduce changes but they should not alter the basic structure of the constitution. In 1970, the hereditary head of the Hindu Mat in Kerala's Kasaragod district, Keshavananda Bharti moved to court to challenge the state government's two land reform laws to restrict the management of religious properties. The constitutional bench ruled that parliament could amend any part of the constitution as long as it did not alter its essential features. Every provision of the constitution could be amended, but these amendments can be subjected to judicial review. No clear definition of the term basic structure was given in any judgment. Some principles like federalism, secularism and democracy were listed as their components. Over the years, the Supreme Court through its various judgments has shaped the concept and now it includes supremacy of the constitution rule of law and independent judiciary federalism a sovereign democratic republic the welfare state a parliamentary system of government and principle of free and fair elections among other features if you like this video share it and subscribe to business standard For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.